Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, we've got an amazing update on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 on One UI that I do want to talk about. So this update actually is directly for the Bixby button that is on the side over here. Now, as you know, traditionally speaking, the Bixby button was uncustomizable. So we, you can either disable it or enable it, but if you do enable it, it only launches Bixby and nothing else. And this was a cause of concern for many Samsung owners. Now with this latest update that I just received this morning, you can actually go in and customize the Bixby button. So if you uh, click on it, you can launch a certain app, or if you double click on it, you can launch another app. So let me just click on it right now. I'm going to show you what's launching. So I set it up. So when I click on it, it launches my Google home application. So now let me show you how to go and customize the button and the new interface they have for that. All right, so let's go into the Bixby setting. So I have it set up right now. So when I double click it, it goes into the Bixby. Okay, just like that. Now, what you want to do is you want to go into the settings by tapping this button, go right into the settings. And then at the bottom over here, it's going to say Bixby key. Now, when you click that, it's going to give you a new option. So you can either choose single press to open Bixby or double press to open Bixby. Now, in my case, I chose double press to open Bixby. When you choose this option, then you can use the single press to open any app that you desire. So if I click on this one here, it's going to allow me to either open an app or run a quick command. That's a quick Bixby command. So if I click on the settings, it's going to allow me to go in and pick any app that I desire from my list of apps. Okay. That's absolutely fantastic. Now, let me go back really quick. I'm going to show you one more thing. Uh, of course, you can also do a run quick command. So if you are using Bixby for quick commands, you can actually assign one right here. Uh, but let me go back over here. I'm going to make sure that you guys understand how this works. So if you choose single press to open Bixby, then you can choose double press to open another app or run a quick command. All right. So one way or the other, you're going to have to use Bixby. But now you can decide whether you want to open it with a single press or a double press. So what I recommend is uh, if you are not interested in Bixby, go for this option. So double press, double pressing this button is going to launch Bixby, but single pressing this button is going to launch an application or a quick command that you desire. So again, if you go in here, boom, you can pick any application you want. And if I'm back in the home screen over here, if I click it one time, it's going to launch that application. And if I am going to click it twice, it's going to launch Bixby. Very, very useful update. All right, so that's it, guys. Uh, make sure that you go in. What you want to do is just to make sure that you have this update is go into the Bixby, tap on this settings icon, go all the way down, go to about Bixby voice, and make sure you've got the latest version installed. If it's not installed, it's going to prompt you to update it. Once you do that, you're good to go. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and have a fantastic day for now.